Hello everyone and welcome back to the Code Syndicate. Today we will discuss iterators in Rust. Iterators create a sequence of values and makes each item in this sequence to be iterate over. Rust provides three ways to create a iterator. Number one, using iter method. Number two, using into iter method. And number three, using iter mute method. Number one, iter method. The elements inside the sequence created by this method are just references to the actual data. Therefore, we cannot modify these elements and thus the ownership of these elements do not get transferred while iterating. Let's have a look on editor here we call this iter method for this vector numbers and stored this iterator in this variable iterator let's print this iterator variable run the code here you can see the iterator let's see next method of iterators this next method returns next value of a iterator let's modify our code to see what this next method returns before this we need to make this iterator mutable change this to iterator.next run the code so we got the first element ignore this sum for now let's have one more print statement and call this next method again let's run the code here you can see we have got this second element so more we will call next in our code more it will go forward in the sequence and when this next method exceeds total number of elements in the iterator it will return none let's see this with example let's run the code again here you can see we have got one in the first next statement in second next statement we got second element then third then fourth and finally we got none because here you can see we have nothing after this 15. Now let's try to print all elements of this iterator one by one by using for loop. But first let's remove this mute keyword. Run the code. Perfect. As I have said that this iter method creates sequence of values with references only and thus do not take ownership from the original variable. In this case, this iter method do not take ownership of these elements from this number. Instead, it takes just references. To verify this, let's print this number after this for loop. run the code here you can see the entire number vector is printed in the console another thing we talked about is these elements cannot be modified while iterating through this iter method as only references are used to create sequences in this case let's see this with code first let's add mute to this number vector now this number is mutable now in this for loop instead of printing this i let's try to modify this i first we need to dereference this i 
to modify it and we do it with star character before this i so star i now this i is the reference star we have changed this i with class one let's run the code as expected we got the error i is a reference so the data it refers to cannot be written to achieve this we have this itar mute method let's change this itar to itar mute this itar mute method creates an iterator with mutable reference let's run this code here you can see we have successfully modified this vector so instead of 1 5 9 15 we are getting 2 6 10 and 16 in case when we want this iterator to take the ownership of these elements we use into iter method let's change this iter mute to into iter and instead of this code let's simply print out this i we can remove this mute keyword as well let's run this code here you can see value borrowed here after move so basically the ownership of this vector is transferred from this numbers to this iterator this is the reason why we cannot call this number here because this number now do not exist let's remove this print statement and run the code again perfect 